hello. Thank you for coming back and hanging out with us. I really appreciate you showing up here every single day. It means the world to me and my guys. This morning, me and Jason are going to drop off these boxes that he has in his car from cleaning out the garage yesterday. We are going to one of the recycling centers here in our town. The one we decided to go to is located in our downtown area. We actually were right by it the other day in the video by the ballpark that I was showing you. It's really nice having a couple different recycling centers to choose from. That way if one's too busy, we can always go to another one. This one was pretty empty today and we were very grateful for that. So I got the air compressor put into the corner and I've got the air hose hooked up and coiled there. I hung that little yellow bin up there that's got all the air compressor fittings on it. Uh, tire pressure gauges, air chuck, uh, the air wand. I got the little dancing guys for the dancing yard, dancing guy hung up. Did a little bit of organizing on this wall. Got all this area cleaned up except for I gotta get that tote upstairs in the attic. The top, the top of this middle metal bin I've got the little, I've got little bins that I put paint and things like that in. Today I am washing my makeup brushes. I have got to remember that while I'm wearing makeup every day this month, I need to keep up with these makeup brushes. Those are all nice and clean and are drying on the side of my sink for the day. I have tried so many different beauty blender knockoffs and not one of them have ever compared with the actual beauty blender but those things are kind of pricey have you found anything that compares to the beauty blender let me know in the comments below if you have also the cleaner what do you clean yours with i use the beauty blender cleaner and i love the cleaner but the packaging stinks so bad the product goops up around because you have to pump it like this and the product comes up out of the top of it and it pools around it. I always find where I have to clean it. So I love the I love the cleaner, but that container is terrible. What do you use to clean your beauty blender? Let me know. For lunch today, me and Jason are having leftover chili dogs from last night and then I have some cucumber spears. Jason, he's just having a hot dog like he did last night with sweet relish. And then he is having a salad and he cut up his cucumbers. He has onions. And then for the dressing is the Olive Garden Italian. We're doing all kinds of work down here on this new section. I think they might be getting ready to put some houses in. That's exciting to see. Me and Jason and Justin are going to take all of this stuff that we have in this car to Goodwill and get it handed in and hopefully it will find a good new home. Well, homes. Uh, <laughs> very busy out here um, you can still see people wearing masks and gloves out but Goodwill is packed I bet you they have some really good stuff in there after this everybody's been closed in and cleaning out their garages and attics and yeah it's busy and Sonic I mean they're wrapped around the building at Sonic today but it is like what 80 degrees uh, 80, yeah, 80 oh degrees. is somebody tired a little bit. I was up working on that stupid garage last night. <laughs> and again this morning, thank you. I hope you can see them all. There's a bunch of golfers out on the golf course today. There were six cars just there. Six of them? Yeah. In one spot. There's a bunch of them right there. 
about four. And then there was two just um, on the other side of the hill. Yeah, well, they're really fun. busy on this golf course. Looks like there's one person per car, but they're all in groups. Doesn't make much sense. <laughs> but hey, gives them something to do, you know? It's awesome. And it's a beautiful day out to be playing golf. So mm -hmm. it's the sun really isn't out very much. It's a cloudy day, so they probably won't be that burnt today. I hope you guys are all staying safe and just taking it really slow. I know everybody's cities and states are opening up across the country and it's just a very leery time, I think, for all of us and we are just going really slow back into society and taking all of the precautions that we need to take to stay safe. So please make sure you are doing the same. Don't just jump right back in. Go slow and take your time. Tonight for dinner, we cooked up these pork carnitas that I had on a previous video when Jason got them from the store. They smell really good. He added peppers and onions to them. Made a little bit of the chips and cheese on the side for whoever wants it. And then for toppings, we have shredded cheese, some tortilla shells, pico de gallo, guacamole, and cilantro. And there must be cheese queso dip for the chips somewhere. We did not do the dishes yesterday, so today we will be definitely working on this little chore to get this kitchen cleaned up again. Imagine a perfect day. Absolutely flawless in That's amazing. Yeah, I found a home for everything. There's still stuff I want to go through and get rid of, but for now, everything that I do have pretty much has a home. So. You did fantastic. And that you just, I see you put up there and said yep. mini attic. Because uh, I've got to reorganize the attic because it's all. Yeah, we got to go through stuff in the attic. That's going to be a job in itself. That's another big project that we've checked off our list. Mm -hmm. Took you a couple days to do it, but yep. it's done, right? Yep. Very nice. All right, you guys, we will see you tomorrow. Bye.